Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about Arnold Classic UK. What a show, what a great show. So I wanted to do a little recap to go over the results and to talk about some of the things that I found very interesting from this show. So as you guys know, Andrew Jack won the show, of course. Now let's talk about what he brought to this stage compared to Texas. So at Texas, they said that he was like 80%. And we weren't sure if they're gonna bring him at like 90 or 100% to the Arnold Classic UK, which was originally the goal, but since he already got the Olympic qualification at Texas, they probably decided to bring him at about the same level of conditioning that he was at Texas, which would be enough as it was for him to win this show, and then they can pick him at 100% for the Mr. Olympia for the biggest show of the year. So as far as his conditioning at this show, I think he was like 5% worse than Texas. It could be just the lighting, I'm not sure, but from what I saw, I don't think he improved his conditioning at all, and I don't think he had the pop that he had at Texas. He was still amazing, he was still better than everybody else, but it wasn't like a super, super convincing win as it was in Texas. In Texas, Martin was second, but Martin was nowhere near beating Andrew. He was better in two poses, back double bicep, back lat spread, but that was about it. Everything else, Andrew Jack smoked him. So I was hoping Andrew is going to improve his glute, hamstring, lower back conditioning at least a little bit for the Arnold Classic because his conditioning from the back was not good, that's not good conditioning. However, he wins because in all the other poses, like from the sides and from the front, he just looks so impressive, he stands out so much. He is simply genetically far superior to everybody else on this stage. It's most likely going to be a different story at Mr. Olympia, and it would be at the Arnold Classic Ohio, but in these second or third tier shows, he just dominates, he just kills everybody, because he is really, really good. So he won this show deservedly, he was definitely the best in this lineup. But he did not stand out as much as he did at Texas. As you can see, James Hollingshead was a freaking monster. At 275 at his height, that was just ridiculous. And also Patrick Johnson was really pushing Andrew. I don't think he was really close to beating him, but it was a good comparison. Unlike Texas, this time around he had competition and he was maybe 5% worse. So it made for a good show, for a good comparison. Now, the other guy that I really want to talk about is James Hollingshead. James looking, the way he looked, as good as he looked, was, for me personally, the highlight of this entire show. If you guys follow this channel, you know that I'm a big fan of James Honisian. I'm a big fan of Fuad Abiyad's podcast, and so I follow James' career very carefully. If you guys go back to my oldest videos, you will see that one of my first videos, I think first or second video that I ever made, was about this guy before he even became very well known, because I always liked his personality and his physique, and before this show happened, he was prepping alone, and he was cheating every four days, something like that. And I wasn't so sure about that, I didn't like that, I'll be honest. I thought he was going to fail, I wasn't sure where he's gonna place, but apparently it worked out so well. He proved to us that he can prep without a coach, and he actually looked the best that he ever looked, in my opinion, without a coach. He definitely could have been sharper, he wasn't super, super dry, but he was big, man, he didn't lose an ounce of muscle during this prep like he did last year at the Mr. Olympia, so this time around he brought something insane, something ridiculous, he's like one of the biggest bodybuilders in the world right now, and also he proved to us that he knows his body really well, and I think this is something he should go for, that size, if he can get his back a little bit drier, as you can see his glutes and hamstrings were tight, tight, hard, but his back, it definitely could have been harder and drier, so if he can improve that in the upcoming shows, He's going to look that much more impressive. I think that's basically the only reason why he didn't place second at this show or potentially even won the show. If he had better back, if his back was drier and harder, he would have definitely placed at least second. But still, top three at this high caliber of a show, winning a medal at the Arnold Classic UK is definitely a great achievement against these guys. So I'm really happy for James. And most of all, I'm happy because he definitely beat his previous version. He didn't just beat it, he left it in dust. He, he destroyed it completely. So I'm really happy for James. He proved to us that his Mr. Olympia version was just a misfortune, a flux. He is definitely a much better bodybuilder than that. Much, much better 
Fighter Bodybuilder, and we will see that in the upcoming shows. I'm sure he'll qualify for the Mr. Olympia again, and I'm sure he will place back there at the Mr. Olympia this year. Here is a post that James made on his backup account. I don't know if you guys follow him here, so I'm gonna read this to you. He says, Disappoint led to self-doubt. Self-doubt led to anxiety. Anxiety ultimately led to me being scared of getting back out there. Constantly struggling to find self-worth since I stepped off the Olympia stage. 80% of the time spent in coldest parts of my head. I didn't choose to be there. I just found myself lost in a place I was not familiar with. I really didn't know how to break out of there. Yesterday was a huge step personally for me. I know it's just a physique contest to many, but for me it was much more. So what he's saying basically is that after Mr. Olympia, after he failed completely, he wasn't so sure about himself and he finally brought something so much, so much better a complete new look completely different package look at here i mean look at his glutes and hamstrings compare them to andrew jack i wouldn't be complaining if he even won this show but i i was hoping he's gonna be second if you guys watched my previous video i pretty much got the top five exactly right i was hoping james is gonna end up in second instead of patrick jones but the way the judges were moving these guys it was pretty obvious that patrick is gonna be second and james third though i would have preferred to see james in that second because of this freak factor he was just so massive and his lower body was definitely the best and not just the quads but like the hamstrings and glutes he was just so dominant and overall a great package i'm really happy for james this is for me personally the highlight of this show the most improved bodybuilder at this show was without a doubt mark hector last time we saw him his problem was definitely his legs however he improved those legs significantly to the point where his legs are no longer a weak point this didn't look like this on his update photos but on the stage as you can see his legs were just great they're just big like they are not a weak point anymore however he was really smooth really soft i think it was a peak weak mistake i don't think he was fat or anything like that i think he was just holding a lot of water especially in the back in the stomach as well uh, all over basically in, in the legs to look at the back it was so smooth but if he improves this and i think he will i think he will win a pro show i think he'll qualify for the mr olympia next show is france yeah i'm out of pro show france i think he can win that i think he's going to go over there too the biggest surprise of this show was without a doubt patrick johnson when i first heard about this guy i made a video i was like who the hell is this guy from kuwait can he win arnold classic uk whatever i was saying but i was really amazed with his physique However, as the show was approaching, I wasn't so happy with his conditioning. I thought he wasn't gonna be super peeled, but apparently he was actually in great conditioning. He looked amazing. Nothing super crazy about his physique. He was just complete. He was more complete than everybody else, but not as freaky, as impressive as Andrew Jack. So that's why he didn't win the show. He wasn't really close to winning it. Andrew's win was very convincing, but this guy came out of nowhere and beat a lot of good guys, a lot of big name guys, and if he keeps competing this year, he's going to the Mr. Olympia for sure. If you guys prefer shakes instead of solid meals, here is a great replacement for your meals because this is not just a whey protein powder, this is actually beef, isolate, egg white isolate and whey isolate all in one protein powder and it tastes so amazing if you guys want to buy it there is a link down below if you want a 15 percent discount just use the code ivan and just pick your favorite flavor of vintage brawn if you guys want to support my channel support myself you can do that by buying any of the old school lab supplements the link is down below thank you guys Peter Molnar, who failed to make the weight for Classic Physique, went to 212 and he ended up in 4th. I wonder what would happen if he actually competed in Classic Physique because he was sliced, he was shredded, peeled, dry, dry, dry. And that conditioning is the only reason why he placed so well in 212 because the other guys were just much, much more massive, much bigger. I mean, he was prepping for Classic Physique, not for 212. So it's really unfortunate that he didn't make the weight if he did he would have actually a good chance of uh, winning classic physique because look at the conditioning man look at the conditioning and look at the shape that he has he really does have those classic lines i think he's more classic than uh, michael the bull who won the classic physique division and i don't even know who is more conditioned they are very close in this regard check out michael the bull he was peeled 
he was shredded, shredded, as he always is, pretty much. He won the Classic Physique Arnold Classic UK last year, and he repeated it this year. And I kind of expected this to happen, even though I don't necessarily agree with this decision. I thought it was going to happen because of conditioning, because the judges really pay attention to who comes ready, who is really lean, who is really conditioned, and nobody brought as good conditioning in Classic Physique as this guy. I don't know if I agree with this decision necessarily, because Classic Physique is not really supposed to be a glute competition. This guy, yeah, had crazy shredded glutes and hamstrings and lower back, but is that what Classic Physique is about, or is it about golden era classic looking shape like Wesley Visser's? I know Wesley wasn't very conditioned, but look at this physique. <laughs> it's like Arnold 2.0, seriously. And I, I understand if the judges are just punishing him because he doesn't want to do the homework. If he brought better conditioning, if he did a, another week of dieting, he would have won this show. So Wesley, come on, man. Just come peeled for once. Suffer for one more week. It's not that hard. You're not gonna die. Do something. Try harder. Just come conditioned. You're not gonna die if you suffer one week more. I mean, you're doing bodybuilding professionally. Just come conditioned for once. You have such an amazing shape, amazing structure, amazing classic physique, but you can't win with glutes soggy like this and hamstrings with zero detail and fat in your lower back. You're not ready for a bodybuilding show. I mean, look at his physique, it's so amazing, it's so beautiful. Even like this, I would not complain if he won the show, but I know the judges won't let him unless he's freaking ready. As I heard, the audience was booing when they gave Wesley third place. Apparently, the guy on the left right here was second. I did not see this, honestly. I mean, he's a great bodybuilder. He's definitely, he's the best bodybuilder in this lineup, but bodybuilder, not classic physique. I mean, this guy is really massive, really round, but this is, come on, look at his side chest. This is not classic physique. Wesley Wieser is classic physique. Michael the Bull is way more classic. The Hungarian guy on the right, Kirali, I would have had him in my top three, but apparently he wasn't even in top five. So I don't know what the judges are looking for. Are they looking just for smaller bodybuilders that fit the weight cap? I don't know, man. I mean, look at Wesley. Look at how aesthetic he is, how classic he looks. But I hope he learned his lesson. No matter how classic you look, how beautiful your shape is, you will not win these shows. You will not place well if you are not conditioned. I mean, he still placed in top three, even though the other guys, all of them, were more conditioned than him. That's because of shape. His shape led him a long way, but not till the very end. So if he wants to win, he needs to come in tighter. And that's gonna do it for this Arnold Classic UK recap video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos about bodybuilding, subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.